Now I have the pleasure, the distinct pleasure, of introducing your commencement speaker and my friend, the legendary coach, Mike Martin. Absolutely. Coach Martin, or 11, as many of you know him, has been a vital part of the Florida State University baseball program since 1965. Back, back then, he was a standout center fielder who batted 354, he says. Uh, <laughs> he earned uh, all district honors with his senior season and played in the 1965 College World Series. Today, he is the second all-time winningest coach in NCAA Division I baseball history. And next year, he'll be number one. After, after graduating from FSU in 1966, he played professional baseball in the minor leagues and then served as a head basketball coach, yes, basketball coach at Tallahassee Community College. He earned a master's degree from FSU in 1971 and was reunited with his alma mater in 1975 and became the assistant ba baseball coach at that time and then became the head coach in 1980. Under Coach Martin's leadership, Florida State has made 38 consecutive postseason appearances, won seven Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament champions since 1992, won 11 Metro Conference championships between 1980 and 1991, and played in 16 College World Series. Coach, absolutely. Coach Martin uh, was inducted into the Florida Sports Hall of Fame in 2005, the American Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame in 2007. He is such an integral part of FSU baseball that we named the field at Dick Hauser Stadium the Mike Martin Field. He and his wife, Carol, believe in giving back to the community they call home. In 2015, uh, Tallahassee Memorial Hospital dedicated the Mike Martin Family Playroom in recognition of their longtime support for Tallahassee Memorial Hospital's Children and Newborn Intensive Care Unit. Coach Martin, Coach Martin is a true, true Seminole, a fierce competitor, someone who has inspired countless players, coaches, fans, and I promise you administrators also. Over the years, through his example of integrity, dedication, hard work, and faithfulness, please join me in welcoming our very own true legend of Florida State University, Coach Mike Martin. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Has moved. Mike Martin, who's been associated with this baseball program for better part of his life. The 3 2 slap shot deep right field. It could be. It is. Thirty-eight years coaching college baseball. That's a long time. I've certainly seen a lot. Holy Toledo! Seven of those wins! Goodness, that's gone! Six home runs by Marshall McDougal! Incredible moments. Mike McGee! A walk off home run! We're going back, baby! Incredible ball players. Wow, is there anything Buster Posey can't do? This year's no different. This team's no different. Sometimes you think you've seen it all. It's gone! The Seminoles win! But in baseball, there's always something new. I see a lot of smiling faces out there. Y'all look awfully happy for a group that's not going to have another summer off for 40 years. <laughs> President Thrasher, faculty, staff, parents, and most importantly, students, what a great honor it is for me to be here today. 
thank you very much for this opportunity. You know, in my job, I get requests to speak at clinics and service clubs and such and such, and I usually like to try to end it with a question and answer. And one night this guy stood up and he said, Coach, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you as a coach? I said, well, uh, I guess it was the night this lady had her son waiting on us as we were headed back to the clubhouse and she asked me to sign the baseball and for her son and I was very proud and happy to do that so I signed it and I was learning Bible verses at the time and I put Colossians 3.17 because that was the most recent verse that I had memorized. That verse goes, trust in the Lord and uh, that verse goes some way. I'm drawing a blank on the name of the verse, but Bill, Bill Woodyard gave me this ball with the verse I'm putting on it now. But anyway, getting into the rest of the story, I put... Colossians 3.18 by mistake. So the next day when I came back, the lady and her son were close to the dugout. And I said hello to the little boy and he was big smiling face and I looked at the lady and she was, she was not very happy. She had a look on her face like, if I could get over this fence, I would slap your face. And I felt terrible. So that when the game was over, I went home and I looked up Colossians 3.18 and it says, Wives, submit to your husbands. <laughs> you can't make that up. <laughs> Florida State's a huge part of my life and a huge part of the community that I call home. Florida State was good to me and good for me. I hope you have had and will have a similar experience. Think about what you've learned, the lifelong friends you've made, and the lasting memories. Florida State University has accomplished much in the years that you've been here. Some of these include new dorms and dining facilities, expansion of the Earth Ocean Atmospheric Science Building, the Student Union, and the College of Business. Fundraising has been at an all-time high with a gift from the Jan and Jim Moran Foundation for $100 million, as well as the Raise the Torch campaign, which is set to reach its goal of $1 billion very soon. Our excellent graduation rate, thanks graduates, is 20% higher than the national average and is helping us move forward to being ranked among the top 25 public universities in the nation. The university averages about 20. Yes. We average about 24,000 freshman applications each year, each year. The student body includes 22 National Merit Scholars. Florida State has continued to move up in national rankings. We jumped five places to number 38 in the 2017 U.S. News and World Report. Our online programs are among the best in the nation, and that includes five graduate programs ranked in the top 20 and three in the top 10. Also, Florida State was voted the most beautiful campus in America by House Beautiful magazine. Now that you are graduating, here are some differences around the campus since you arrived as a freshman. A new president. Dr. Eric Barron was president from 2010 to 2014. 
Our new president, of course, is John Thrasher, a new athletic director. Randy Spetman was athletic director from 2007 to 2013. Vanessa Fuchs, who played basketball for Florida State as a student athlete in this very facility, served as interim in 2013 until our current athletic director, Stan Wilcox, was hired. You are his first graduating class. This Civic Center, when you arrived on campus, the Civic Center was owned by the city of Tallahassee and Leon County. Now it is owned by Florida State, and you will notice some nice improvements on the inside and outside, such as new seating, new signage, a new Seminole head logo, and an even better Wi-Fi in case I get boring or talk too long. <laughs> the football practice fields and the indoor practice facility we added the Albert J. Dunlap Indoor Practice Facility in 2013 that is primarily used by football, but also used by a lot of other sports, as well as our cheerleaders and golden girls for practice. Again, we had the old logo when it was built, but now enjoy our new logo. National championships since 2013. We have added two more national championships here at Florida State with one in football for the 13th season and one in soccer for the 14th season. Alumni Village, located on the southwest campus by the Seminole Golf Course. Alumni Village is where my wife Carol and I lived when I was a student athlete here. Alumni Village was only <laughs> Alumni Village was only for married students and torn down during your time here at Florida State. Dorman and Davini Halls on Jefferson Street. Two of our older dorms were torn down while you were here to make room for four. We now have a new Dorman and Davini, as well as Azalea and Magnolia, all in pretty much the same location. Two dorms over by West Tennessee Street, C Street were Kellum Hall and Smith Hall. Here are the shots of Kellum showing what they looked like in 13, as well as what the sites look like now. Back over on Jefferson Street was the Wesley United Methodist Center. Here's an older shot of the chapel this is what it looked like when it was torn down in 16. The worst architectural design in history. <laughs> the designer had to be a University of Florida graduate. <laughs> Here's the Wesley Chapel as it stands today. Finally, we take a look at Doak Campbell Stadium and the Champions Club. Here is what our football stadium looked like when you arrived and then with the addition of the Champions Club, what it looks like today. I thought you might like to see what I looked like in 13. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool to gain a pot belly and dye my hair gray. As you embark on this life's journey, remember that success is not measured strictly by money and power. As the CEO of Time Warner once said, the secret to success is being the person who other people want to see succeed. It's more important than talent, brains, or luck. Your years here at Florida State University have prepared you for lives of accomplishment, self-respect, and contribution. Give something back. I would hope you might choose Florida State. Time and dollars are important. The Florida State Foundation, Alumni Association, Seminole Boosters, or your particular school will appreciate you. We need you. 
I have this poem posted in our clubhouse each year. It was written by Dale Wimbro in 1934. And I feel it is relevant today. When you get what you want in your struggle for self and the world makes you king for a day, just go to the mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it isn't your father or mother or wife whose judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the one staring back from the glass. Some people may think you a straight shooting chum and call you a wonderful guy. But the guy in the glass says you're only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He's the fella to please never mind all the rest, for he's with you clear up to the end. And you've passed your most dangerous, difficult test if the man in the glass is your friend. You may fool the whole world down the pathway of life and get pats on the back as a pass, but your final reward will be heartaches and tears if you've cheated the man in the glass. I'll close this speech, as Larry King once said, I never learned anything when I was talking. I know you liked this speech because it was short and had pictures. <laughs> but seriously, it's been an honor, one of the highest honors I've ever received, and a privilege to speak to you on your special day at my beloved alma mater, Florida State University. Incredible. Thank you, Coach Martin. Thank you for all the years of service to Florida State University and your love of this institution.